Hello, welcome to Hip Talk, the podcast where we talk about all the new cool features and innovations coming to the Hedera network. My name is Keith Cole, and I'm a product manager at Hashgraph. And I'm very honored today to be joined by Torfin Olson, who's a senior technical program manager. Welcome, Torfin. Hey, Keith. It's great to see you, man. Great to have you here. So today we're going to be talking about uh, Release 58, of which you are the release manager for. Uh, it looks like a, a great release full of a lot of new exciting features. So let's dive right into it. Um, maybe we can start with one of the first new features that we've added, uh, which is something we've been working on for a while, uh, HIP 423. What can you say about that, Torfin? Yeah, absolutely. So HIP 423, for those that have been watching, is the long-term scheduled transactions. And um, we added some functionality to uh, update to the um, schedule sign so that uh, we can change the way we do throttles for scheduled transactions. So we're finally throttling like all the other transactions on the network, and uh, we can manage it using the, the default throttling mechanism, which makes uh, kind of changing this, particularly if you're doing uh, some testing, uh, much more straightforward and similar to how you would with other throttles if you're doing a network configuration. Awesome. And then probably the big new feature for release 58 will be HIP 755, a scheduled service system contract. Can you talk a little bit about what features we've added for this HIP um, and you know where we are in its journey? Yeah, absolutely. So we're kind of mid-journey with uh, HIP 755. Um, we actually, in the previous release in 57, we got uh, signed schedule. So HIP 755 added uh, three new functions, the pre previous function signed schedule, um, along with uh, a new system contract. And so uh, what we released in release 58 is the authorized schedule function. And uh, this function is callable within a smart contract uh, and leverages the public key uh, in the wallet. So this is implemented now and you can go ahead and leverage it right away. We also have another component coming, which is uh, signed schedule and that'll include uh, address and uh, bytes. And that function will be callable from within the smart contract. It allows a uh, pre, it allows you to pre-gather signatures into uh, the signature map. And uh, the keys that are signed in bytes in the signature map can be referenced in the scheduled transaction. So that's going to come out and release 59, uh, and that'll complete this hit. Okay. And that'd be, that'd be a, a great, I, know, I think a lot of people are looking forward to that feature. So that'd be, that'd be amazing. So yeah, look forward for the completion and release 59 for HIP 755. Anything else that you'd like to talk about in terms of, uh, I know, I know there was a lot of stuff that went into this release, uh, but in terms of big stuff that you think would be interesting for our developers? Yeah, absolutely. So this release was very focused on kind of a lot of uh, backend technical work. We managed to get a new feature in mirror node to simulate contract calls, which I think is a really interesting capability. Um, the standalone transaction executor uh, now supports custom operations. So uh, a developer could use this feature to create and execute custom operations that are not part of the standard Hedera API, uh, which is pretty novel. I think uh, also just referring back to HIP 755, I think it's it's important to call out, this is a really Hedera unique uh, function that's coming out. We've got some blog posts coming our way, but uh, I, I highly recommend people look into this. It's, it's pretty incredible capability to be able to schedule transactions within the protocol like this and simultaneously have them be uh, EVM compatible. So um, really awesome stuff. Uh, another thing that uh, is worth mentioning is um, we're, we're kind of continuing to do work on dynamic address books. So people that caught kind of some of the previous posts about it uh, won't get too into the weeds, but we've added some new uh, transaction King functions. Um, if you look at the release summary, you can kind of get the details on those. Um, but we also um, did a bit of uh, more balanced and equitable cross-node staking weighting configuration. So 
Um, basically, we'd recommend everybody, you know, pop over to Hashscan that's, you know, interested in staking. You can look in Hashscan and see the weight of the distribution across nodes. Um, and then you can kind of take an opportunity to, you know, review your current staking configuration and uh, optimize your distribution for yourself. It's a good opportunity to do that. Awesome. Um, yeah, and I, I think you made a great call out there. There's obviously a lot of, you know, we, we try to cover the highlights in these hip talks, but there's a lot more that goes into every release. And so if you're interested to deep dive, you can always go to uh, the, the release notes uh, page for services and see um, both the release highlights that we've discussed, but also all of the other things that maybe we're not talking about this discussion that you would be interested in right down to the individual PR level. Um, so yeah, anything else you'd like to say about release 58 or in general Torfin? No, I think um, it's just worth calling out that, you know, we appreciate all the feedback from engineers that are, you know, leveraging the network and people that are trying different things out. Please get in there and try some of these things and, you know, give us some feedback on how you like them. Discussions are open on GitHub for all kinds of this stuff. And, um, you know, we, we live for the community. So um, you know, y'all's opinions on these things and the, the work that we're completing really matter, really matters to us. Well, that's amazing. And also, I just want to make a special call out. I believe that you're going to be at Hedericon in Denver next week. So maybe if anyone's going to be there, it'd be a great chance to meet up with you. Um, yeah, and, and, and some other and a lot of my other members of the Hashcraft team. Yeah, this, this is a great opportunity. Um, if anybody sees my face there and recognizes me, Please walk up, talk. Uh, I'd love to talk about any of these kind of features that we've been working on in more detail. Uh, and I'd love to hear about people's use cases or challenges they're having and, you know, things that they'd like to see in the future for the network. Um, that, that kind of feedback is just worth its weight in gold. So um, love to see you there. Great. Well, there's your call out. Find Torfin at Hedericon. All right. Thank you very much, Torfin. And uh, thank you, everyone, for joining today's call. Bye-bye. Thanks so much, Keith.